Traffic tickets are serious business. They can cost you money, they can cost you your license, and ultimately they can cost you your job. This isn't about whether or not you could afford a $300 fine. This is about driving smart and safe to protect your commercial driver's license and your ability to make a living and provide for your family. I'm Sergeant Rob Hillebrand with the Sarpy County Sheriff's Office, and I'm here to talk to you today about tickets and their consequences. Tickets can cost you your CDL, they can ruin your career, they damage your personal driving record, and your ticket inspection history can be viewed by officers at any roadside stop. Since a ticket in your truck affects your personal driver's license and a ticket in your car or on your motorcycle affects your CDL, it's critical to drive safely and legally at all times, no matter what vehicle you're operating. While operating your commercial motor vehicle, you can be ticketed for many things. If your truck is overweight, you can get a ticket. Depending on the situation, fines for overweight loads can range anywhere from $150 up to $20,000. In most cases, you, the driver, are responsible for these fines. So make sure to weigh your load if there's any question about gross vehicle weight or axle weights. Anytime you pick up a load with a cargo weight of more than 40,000 pounds, or a load from a split, swap, or shipper that doesn't have a weight listed on the bill of lading, or a load that just feels heavy, weigh it at a certified scale. Don't count on scale tickets from other drivers. Your truck doesn't weigh the same as theirs. If your truck is over length or your tandem setting isn't compliant for the state you're operating in, you can get a ticket. Don't forget to slide your tandems to meet the requirements of the state with the shortest setting on your route. Utilize your permit book to find this information. If you drive without the proper state permits, you can get a ticket. Keep your permit book handy and use it. Verify that all permits in your book have valid expiration dates and contact the permit department for any state-specific permits you may need before entering the states requiring them. If you drive on a restricted route, you can get a ticket. Plan your route in advance and use your maps. The Navigo routing the company sends you is only a suggested route. It's up to you to use your atlas and maps to check for restrictions and to verify it's a valid truck route. Make sure to give your GPS a reality check and verify any GPS routing you use with a map. If you drive with an improperly secured or improperly placarded hazmat load or a hazmat load with incorrect paperwork, you can get a ticket. The fines for hauling a hazmat load without proper shipping paperwork can range from as little as $250 to as much as $3,000 or more. Always call the safety hotline for a hazardous materials load briefing anytime you haul a load containing hazardous materials, regardless if it requires placards or not. Safety specialists will confirm if you've done everything necessary to legally haul the load. If you drive and talk on your handheld cell phone, or send, read, or compose a text message or email on your handheld cell phone while driving, you can get a ticket. Put your phone and all other distractions away while you're behind the wheel. It's not worth a ticket or someone's life to answer that call or text. Remember, key on means phone off. If you drive without a seatbelt, you can get a ticket. Not only is it against the law, it's company policy to wear a seatbelt at all times while operating a vehicle. Wearing a seatbelt is still the single most effective thing all drivers can do to save lives and reduce injuries on our roadways. Get in the habit of putting your seatbelt on every single time you get in the truck. Always buckle up in your truck. If you drive with defective equipment, you can get a ticket. Routinely perform pre- and post-trip inspections and keep up with the general maintenance of your equipment. Most problems can be eliminated by starting with the basics. Oil, coolant, lights, tires, and brakes. Report any issues to your fleet manager and road breakdown. Never continue to operate the equipment if something is damaged or if it's not in compliance. 
If you're ever instructed to do so, contact the safety hotline right away. And of course, if you drive without following the rules of the road, you can get a ticket. Receiving multiple serious violations in a short amount of time can get your CDL suspended even though you may still have points on your license. Serious violations include improper lane changes, speeding 15 miles per hour or more over the speed limit, reckless driving, following too close, texting or talking on a handheld cell phone while driving, violating an out of service order, and leaving the scene of an accident. Constantly monitor your speed, the space around your truck, and the traffic scene around you. Stay up to date with changing laws and regulations, and above all else, drive safely. CSA stands for Compliance, Safety, and Accountability. It's the government safety initiative for big trucks. We've all heard it, but do you know what getting a ticket, a violation, or a warning does to CSA scores and how it actually affects you? If you're pulled over, law enforcement can issue a citation, a warning, or a violation for breaking a state law or federal regulation. If you're issued a ticket, it can be contested in court in an effort to keep points off your CDL. However, the points associated with that ticket, as they're listed on a commercial motor vehicle driver inspection report, will remain in CSA and go against Warner's CSA score. Even if the ticket does get dismissed in court, the CSA points may still remain on record. You can also receive a violation at a roadside inspection or a scale stop for things such as malfunctioning lights, underinflated tires, or air leaks. The points associated with these violations also go against Warner's CSA score. It's also possible to receive a citation and a CSA violation for the same incident. For example, if you get a speeding ticket, you could lose points on your CDL as well as receive CSA points for the speeding infraction. You may think that CSA points only affect the carrier, but that's incorrect. They also directly affect you, the professional driver. First of all, Werner keeps track of all CSA points acquired by each driver. This information is used in training and employment decisions. Second, if you're pulled over, an officer can see a full history of violations you've acquired over the past three years from all employers you've worked for. If they see a pattern of violations, a simple scale stop could quickly turn into a level one inspection. Third, the FMCSA has implemented a new safety initiative known as the Pre-Employment Screening Program, PSP. This allows carriers electronic access to a driver's crash and inspection history, which they can use to make more informed decisions about which drivers to hire. Finally, carrier CSA scores are available for the public. This means that Werner's customers can see the scores. If a customer sees a carrier with a high CSA score, they may interpret that to mean that they're unsafe and not feel comfortable moving their freight with them. Lost customers mean lost freight. Lost freight equals fewer loads for you, the driver, and this means less money in your pocket. So as you can see, CSA affects us all. All tickets, violations, warnings, and inspection reports must be reported to the safety hotline as soon as possible. This includes parking tickets. Call 1-800-331-0361 with your ticket, violation, warning, or inspection report in hand and something to write with. The safety representative will explain your options. Make sure to write down the name of the person you talk with and make copies of everything for your records. Tickets affect your career. They affect your income and they affect your job. Remember to follow the tips we've shared with you today and obey the rules of the road in order to ensure your continued safety and that of other road users, as well as solidify your career with Werner Enterprises and within the trucking industry.